Hello there and welcome to Travels with Jordy. If this is your first visit, my name is Peter Knowles. I live, well now, on this classic wooden motor cruiser currently here in Genoa Bay, British Columbia. All the while fixing it and others up for some pretty ambitious cruising. If that's the sort of thing that you might find interesting, please consider sticking around and subscribing. I'd love to have you. We are back from our Southern Gulf Islands cruise and it was absolutely spectacular and I have just a few hours to get ready to take Palm down to the festival in Victoria and then from there the festival in Port Townsend. But anyway, I did want to make sure that you got a uh, recap of not only this year's Southern Gulf Island cruise, but as I did with Desolation South, the best of the Southern Gulf Islands. Uh, so we jump back in time and draw from all the best cruising of this beautiful, beautiful park of British Columbia. This week I'd like to share with you the very best of cruising the Southern Gulf Islands, which are the islands between Vancouver Island and the lower mainland of British Columbia. All right, uh, we're going to start this cruise in Victoria, where I live, and work our way north from there. Now, it's certainly not for everyone, but I just love the energy of a downtown core. And, well, to be fair, Victoria has about the most sedate downtown core you can get. But it's still a full-featured city. It has everything you need. And it really is. Here I'm using Google Earth to show you this marina is the Causeway Marina right in the very hub of it all. All right. Our first leg will leave Victoria around the bottom of the city and up towards Sydney Spit, directly opposite the city of Sydney. Now Sydney Spit is not necessarily my very favorite spot, but it is an absolute standard for cruising these waters. It is miles of beach, uh, it has buoys, it has a dock, it's a park, and it's directly opposite the town of Sydney, making it a pretty popular destination. Strangely, it doesn't actually suit me all that well, but that's for you to decide. And opposite, there you can see Sydney. All right, next leg, we're going to move further north and on to what I consider the first really great destination, crossing over the top of Saanich Peninsula into uh, Cowichan Bay and the town of Cowichan Bay itself. For a wooden boat enthusiast, the hub of Cowichan Bay is the Maritime Centre, uh, which is in this fantastic property, including this long pier sticking out into the bay. They host uh, wooden boat festivals, they put on um, all kinds of special events for young people and uh, others in the community. It's just a super resource for Cowichan Bay. Uh, of course, the town is fabulous in so many other ways with uh, restaurants and pubs and stores, and my eyes just a great spot. Our next leg takes us directly across Couch Bay to the tiny little bay of Genoa Bay. And I'd never actually been in here until last year, and it's turned out to be a real sweetheart of a spot. One of the really neat things about Genoa Bay is a fantastic restaurant. And I mean fantastic, we were there last night. Thank you. 
Leaving Genoa Bay, we'll head out and up through Sansom Narrows and uh, turn left into Maple Bay, which is a, a really great little spot I've spent a fair amount of time in, and uh, it's I have a soft spot for it because it's where Scott, my good friend the shipwright, keeps his boat, and I've spent many, many a happy day there rafting up with him, and in this case, you can see a uh, poem is rafted up with us as well. They're good times, just great times. Ladysmith is a good sized town, so it's provisioning, good eats, good walking around, nice spot. Directly opposite is the tiny little hamlet of uh, Telegraph Cove, where there's also a pub and a restaurant if you decide to swing right past Ladysmith. Okay, so Ladysmith is one of those BC towns, very similar along the highway. It's an old town, has a couple hotels up on the main road. Uh, if you look down to the water, of course it was a lumber town. Uh, you can't see much of it now. At one time you would have been able to, but it just has that, uh, you know, there's not much to it, but there's lots of little boutique places to eat. And in fact, one of those is Maya Norta, which is uh, a little tapas place. This is a little pizza place next door, which has a really, I don't know, kind of a Caribbean feel to it. I like it. I haven't eaten a single pizza there, so I can't say a darn thing about it. But Maya Norta, we were here last night. <laughs> While we were having dinner, we said we'd like to book for tomorrow night again, please. Little patio in the back there. I can't say enough. I can't say enough about this place. Absolutely fantastic. Carrying on north from Ladysmith, we're going to go through the tiny gap of Dodd Narrows, which is a uh, relatively narrow gap between Mudge Island and uh, Vancouver Island, where the current can really, really flow. Uh, so you want to catch that at or near slack. Alright then, we're running Dodd Narrows at uh, about two and a half knots of current. So we're moving pretty quick. I don't know if you can hear me. Just north of Dodd Narrows is the rather bustling city of Nanaimo. This is a large industrial and uh, commercial city that has everything you're going to need for provisioning a grocery store at close walk from a really great marina. There's a chandlery there. You can even get some pretty good food. One of the great things of being on the wharf in Nanaimo is that there's fabulous fish and chips right there. Looking good. Are these crispy? Oh yeah, they're crispy. They're pretty crispy. A little coleslaw. Alright, cheers. Directly across Nanaimo Harbour is the fabulous island of Seisuchin, uh, previously known as Newcastle Island, and the entire island is a park, and there's a great harbour with uh, uh, public docks and mooring balls, and it's just a lovely, lovely spot to spend the day.
Nanaimo and Seisuchin Island, we'll head south again, back through Dodd Narrows, and around the bottom of De Courcy Island to the fabulous little Parkland Bay of Pirate Cove. Leaving Pirate Cove, we'll continue on south towards what is quite possibly my favorite island in the Southern Gulfs, and that's Wallace Island, and we're going to stay in Princess Cove. There is also a, another cove further down uh, that actually has a dock in it, which is Conover Cove, but I tend to prefer the upper cove. Leaving Wallace Island, we'll carry on south to the much, much larger island of Galliano and the very, very popular destination of Montague Harbour. Montague Harbour is a very popular destination and as a result can be quite crowded. Uh, in the northwest corner, it's all a park with some ring balls and in the southeast, uh, it, there's a commercial marina with a pub. Leaving Montague, we'll carry on southwest and to the largest of all the South Gulf Islands, Salt Spring Island, and to its largest town, Ganges. Ganges is a very popular destination in summer with many marinas and other marine infrastructure as well as a bustling little town full of pubs and restaurants, places to stay, and perhaps most significantly, an absolutely fantastic farmer's market.
leaving Ganges, we'll head south and around the bottom of Salt Spring Island and up into Fulford Harbour, which is the ferry terminal for Salt Spring Island and a much smaller little town, although it does have a fabulous little restaurant. And one of the great things about Fulford Harbours is an absolutely fabulous little restaurant up here called Rock Salt, which we're going to now. Cheers. Cheers. We were here years ago and there was a uh, community piano right here. I just realized that. I wonder if I can find the clip. Who can resist an outdoor piano? Give a little tinkle. <laughs> From Fulford, we'll head back out Fulford Harbour and almost immediately come upon Little Portland Island. The entire island is a park. In fact, it had been gifted to Princess Margaret, which she promptly returned our gain. Portland Island has two anchorages. On the north side, there's Royal Bay, and on the south side, shown here, is Princess Bay. Um, basically, depending on the wind direction, you make your choice. Heading due east from Portland, we'll end up on South Pender Island and into Bedwell Bay, which is the location of a rather nice resort known as Poets Cove. A great place to stop over and uh, they have a couple of nice restaurants, they have a pool, a hot tub, it really is a pretty nice spot.
leaving Bedwell, we're going to go up and through the narrow gap between North and South Pender Island and through what I consider one of my favorite little fun spots in the entire South Gulf Islands, and that's the Pender Canal. Just north of the canal is the lovely little marina and pub of Port Browning. Really has become one of our favorite spots. And cheers. And cheers. And if you enjoyed the pub at Port Browning for lunch, it's a short jaunt over to Saturna Island and uh, the pub at the ferry terminal for dinner. And here we are at Saturna Island Government Wharf, which I must say is in absolutely brilliant shape. Uh, there's the ferry terminal right there, and just up the hill, of course, is the pub. So we go. And here we are at the Saturna Lighthouse Pub on Saturna Island, right at the ferry terminal. Waiting we've, for the sunset. Waiting for the sunset. <laughs> we've, we've been in this neighborhood a few times, but never actually been to the pub, so. Cheers. What are you drinking? Cheers. She's cool. Beer. <laughs> Just north of the pub, also on Saturna Island, is one of our favorite little spots of Winter Cove. This is a large, open, very shallow cove that just has lovely, lovely skies, and every time we're there, we seem to have a lovely time.
We'll end our tour here at Winter Cove because I think we're going to stay another couple of days. But you've had a quick overview of what I think are the very, very best stops on the Southern Gulf Islands cruise. It should be noted that the series of islands uh, to the right of our cruise are the American San Juan Islands. Equally nice, I'm sure. I just haven't had a chance to be there yet. Oh, Finny Finn loves the beer of the week, especially because he gets what? P chips? chips. What kind of chips? <laughs> Fish skin chips. <laughs> you yummy. keep those to yourself. Yummy, dried out. Yummy. Fish skin. Just <laughs> perfect. <laughs> Well, on that note, welcome to the Travels of Jordy uh, Beer of the Week, coming to you this week from the cozy cockpit of MV Zephyrus here in Genoa Bay, having just returned from... Where were we? Everywhere. Our, <laughs> our glorious over. Southern Gulf Islands cruise, which we'll talk more about uh, in a minute, you having already seen the bulk of it. All right, we're moving straight onto the beer um, because Finnegan is so keen about that. This oh, is yes. Sidetracked ISA, which is an India Session Ale from Red Arrow here in the... Um, uh, Cowichan Valley area and we've never had this before the label suggests mountain biking which isn't necessarily my thing but you never know it might be a fabulous beer anyway are you side out of tracker. chips Finn I think Finn is a side tracker so <laughs> he tracks me sideways yeah Whoa. what do you think is that smell pretty good I like fish chips and beer <laughs> well we had a fantastic cruise although not a lot of our crews got into the episode these people just watched several shots of Finnegan yeah, we had a, we had a few. We obstacles. had a few a few obstacles on the way. Wind um, and wind and smoke timing and, and smoke and <laughs> oh gosh, the smoke. Anyway, the sidetracked ISA uh, I got side from right out. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, Finn. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Finn, not the beer. The beer's good. Actually. The beer's good. It took me a minute, but that's the ISAs always throw me off because they're not IPAs; they're a different sort they're of thing. Essays. Yeah, right. Excellent. It's good. It's Session. takes a little getting used to. Anyway, shall we get to some paperwork? I think it'd be good with a burger. Which is what we're having shortly. Um, last week's winner of a Travel Story T-shirt is Stephen Smith one 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 eight. Uh, Stephen Smith, I'm pretty sure you probably know who you are. Get a hold of me. We'll make sure you get your shirt. Congratulations. Which Cheers. Stephen Smith is that? Well, it's <laughs> Stephen Smith 1118. Okay, YouTube has changed the way comments appear recently. I don't know if you've noticed, but it's driving me nuts. It doesn't show your name anymore. It shows your handle, like your at something or other. So sometimes I get people like at 1117 puff daddy 1144 and 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 their name could be stephen smith but anyway i'm assuming this is stephen smith or maybe like 117 zephyrus something like that something like that yeah uh so cheers, cheers stephen or who, wh whoever you may be I'd like to thank a new Patreon that came aboard in the last week and that is dale woodard thank you um very much dale i'm very very grateful cheers cheers well, it was kind of fun putting together the show because, boy, oh, boy, we've had some great cruises down here. I had just uh, fantastic. You haven't seen it yet, but I it's... I hear there's a lot of food. Or did you not Oh, I didn't put half the food in. <laughs> I did. I, there's very, very little food. We compared. ate a lot of food. Yeah, it we did. didn't make it into the video. One neat thing about the Southern Gulf Islands is there's a pub in almost every bay. So it, it, it suits me. And pretty much if you didn't order what you wanted on the last pub that you went to, you just get it to the just, next one. Just get it at the next one. Sometimes it's lunch and dinner in two different bays. Anyway, there we go. So all we need now is a Travels with Jordy Word of the Week. If I show it to you, would you like to tell the people at home? It's that word right at the bottom. <laughs> cruising. Oh, sorry. Cruising. Oh, because I didn't spell cruising. <laughs> Because I was going to say, use the word cruise or cruising, so I stuck cruising. an ing on the end of cruise. <laughs> Thank you very much, but ladies. Like Zephyrus. sightseeing, cruising, cruising. Okay. <laughs> Either use the word cruise, cruising, or any version of anything like that, and you know what to do with it. Um, Look at those chip sedatives that are kicking in. <laughs> this was a bonus episode, so uh, we're Sorry. going to see you uh, quite soon. And um, Bonus. Bonus, yeah, this is a bonus episode. Yeah, it is it a is. bonus. They're getting it tomorrow. Mm. Um, and... I'll see you all again in just a couple of days from the Victoria International Wooden Boat Festival. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it's called. Cheers. See I'll you then. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Finn. <laughs> <Wow. 
Well, he enjoys those. Welcome to the Travels with Jordy Beer of the Week coming to you this week from the cozy aft cabin of MV... Zephyrus. Z aft cockpit. <laughs> what did you call it? Cabin. <laughs>